the Web 3.0 industry is booming with opportunity for developers. You know, blockchain is one of the highest paying fields in tech. Of course, you can get an amazing day job in this industry, but there's all these other ways to make money with blockchain programming skills. Because I think most developers, as they get into the space, you know, if you're like me, you see the value of the technology that you're creating, and you're going to inevitably get the itch to make something yourself. And you have a massive edge to do this with high value blockchain coding skills. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the top ways to make money with your blockchain coding skills, you know, on the side, in addition to your regular job. I want to talk about all these as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to know how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's talk about some of these top side hustle ideas that you can implement as a blockchain developer on top of your regular job. So the first one is just taking the coding skills that you have now and doing freelancing on the side. So basically, this just means building projects for other people on top of your regular job on a, you know, maybe hourly basis or on a per project basis. So let's talk about the pros for this strategy. Well, number one, you don't really have to learn anything new if you're already a blockchain developer you can really just do what you do now and just do it for somebody else. There's no capital required to get started, okay? You don't have to invest a bunch of money to make something else. It's pretty easy to get started and you can do it around your regular job, either on nights or on weekends. So let me give you some ideas on how you can dip your toes into freelancing, okay? There's lots of different freelancing websites out there where people are trying to hire developers to create either one-off projects or long-term engagements. You know, places like Upwork.com, it can be as simple as just creating a profile and getting started, you know, right away. Because the good news is there's lots of different people who are on there who are, you know, asking developers to create the types of things that I teach you on this channel, like, and also inside the blockchain bootcamp, like, you know, basically an NFT project. A lot of these are rinse and repeat projects that if you already understand how to create an NFT project, you can just create one like this person's specifications with a few settings change. It wouldn't take you that much time or effort on the grand scheme of things. And you can do that with the exact skills that I show you. Same thing for other crypto projects like forks of DeFi protocols, brand new cryptocurrencies, et cetera, et cetera. And so what are some other tips on getting started? So, you know, one uh, initial pain point that you might have to overcome when getting other people to hire you is to convince them of your experience. So if you have a job already, of course, you can use your job experience to talk about that. If you're just getting started from scratch, or maybe they don't want your job experience, they want to know about your freelancing experience. Well, you can start creating, you know, portfolio examples of projects that other people want to hire, like NFTs, like I was talking about before, just launch your own and put it out there and show them what you've done to prove that you can create what they're asking you to deliver. That's the, the proof is just what you can do. The other thing is, you know, you can start to work for some people on the side for a very reduced rate so that it mitigates that risk and you're getting something in exchange, you're getting experience, okay? You can do that for your first project, then you can quickly start raising your rates after that, but it doesn't take that much effort to get started and you can build a nice steady uh, side stream of income this way. All right, so another side hustle that's kind of fun for blockchain developers is actually uh, flipping blockchain-based domain names, okay? So what do I mean by this? Well, imagine like going back in time and buying an, a domain name early in the days of the internet, like we'll say you could have bought you know, Amazon.com and held on to it and waited for somebody else to buy it from you. Well, that opportunity potentially exists on the table right now with blockchain based domains. So uh, what is this? Well, well, blockchain is basically, you know, exploring all these different use cases. And DNS is definitely one prime area of disruption. Okay, so you can see that with uh, decentralized no domain name services like ENS, where essentially they can take uh, blockchain based domains and point them to blockchain wallets or even actual websites themselves. We see other types of uh, domains popping up, like unstoppable domains, for example. There's lots of different suffixes and domain registrars that are coming out there that let you do this with blockchain. And so a lot of these domains, at the end of the day, are just NFTs. So how do you, you know, collect domain names on the side with the hopes of flipping them in the future? Well, it just looks like buying them from a registrar, maybe on a secondary marketplace, and then holding them until you get a better offer on them on a secondary marketplace, maybe like OpenSea, for example. So we can see some domain names have uh, sold for as high as, you know, $300,000 uh, in September 2021. And then this name was turned around and relisted in January 2022 for $1.6 million. So that's a ton of upside potential for this particular niche itself. So how can you get started in this developer? And how can you actually, you know, get an edge as a developer? Well, one way is to essentially spot trends that are happening in these domain name ecosystems. So you know, some of these uh, had to do with the three-digit ENS 
uh, names where you could see like 000.eth or you could you know you just extrapolate that out to any other significant three digit domain name and then add .eth at the end of it. Think about like 007, like James Bond or something like that. I'm sure that was incredibly valuable. So basically just spotting what the trends are and then trying to find significant patterns within that trend where you could uh, speculate on something that could uh, appreciate in price over time. Now, what can you do as a developer to help, you know, supercharge this? Well, you can do this at bulk and at scale, okay? So because, you know, all these are sold on blockchain and you have open access to the blockchain as a developer, you could do things like write your own scripts to find, uh, you know, domain names that could be valuable. Like you, you could create a, a quick script that would find all the available three-letter ENS names and show them on a spreadsheet or something and try to spot patterns quickly that way to identify opportunities that other people may not be able to see at scale. You may even be able to actually automate purchasing those things at scale. And let's say that, you know, you thought that the opportunity for ENS on top of the Ethereum platform had already saturated or something, or it's just too expensive for you to start speculating on those. You can also front run these trends on other ecosystems or other domain name registrars that uh, you know, offer this capability as well. All right, so the next side hustle for Web 3.0 developers is to create your own actual side project. So this could be multiple things. I'm gonna kind of create this as a catch-all category. So this could be an app itself. It can be a website. It could be some other type of blockchain project. Let me explain what some of those things are. So, you know, one idea in and of itself is to create just a blockchain asset that actually lives on chain that can appreciate in price over time. So this would be like a non-fungible token or NFT project. So that's like having an NFT drop where you get together with an artist or maybe you are an artist yourself and you create a novel NFT that you think has value, you can actually get a community behind it and you hold a drop for this, okay? So many NFT projects work about the same way, okay, with some differences. But I guess what I'm trying to say here is it's not that hard in the grand scheme of things to launch your own NFT from an artwork and a coding perspective, okay? So the real effort comes with like marketing the project and nurturing that community uh, in order for that project to actually gain you know, traction over the long term. But one of, it's one of those things that once you've launched it, you could consistently do that on the side, uh, especially around whatever job that you have now. So let's talk about other ideas like creating actual applications or websites, okay? So, you know, one of the easiest things would be to create, you know, some sort of blockchain-based website that can be monetized. So I'm, I'm literally looking at one right now. So this is an NFT calendar where they advertise NFT drops. So basically the whole idea is you, know, you have multiple NFT drops happening per day in the entire crypto ecosystem and people want to find out about them. There's a variety of ways people can do that. But, um, you know, you could have a website like this where people advertise it and they essentially can do paid promotion on the site itself. So, you know, how would you start this? Well, you're probably not gonna be able to start a viable website by just charging people with no visitors. You probably want to get some traction first by just curating the ones that you know about and posting them for free while the website gets traction. And then later on, you could charge uh, people to actually uh, advertise on that once you got the amount of viewers that you need. You could do this with any other crypto website that offers um, some type of you know, value, right? So the whole idea is you, you could create a website where you could find the best yield in the crypto space, all right, and then advertise that yield for free online and get people looking at that over time. And eventually you could turn any of these into uh, pay to play websites where people have to sign up to actually access the information. So that looks like essentially turning your website into a software as a service where people are either paying for it you know, long term with crypto or with uh, you know, their credit card on a monthly basis, annual basis, whatever it is, to where you can offer uh, a piece of software people pay for you know, regularly. That's what a software as a service is. It can be with crypto data. It can be with some of the crypto service. You know, if you're a developer, you could create an API that people might want to hook into in their application. But the whole idea is you're creating some sort of software uh, with backend infrastructure that people would pay you for that is web facing. And now some of those ideas are slightly more web two based, but you could actually create web three versions of this where you create a website that offers people value, okay, in the web 3.0 space, but you're actually making money off of it in a web 3.0 way. So you could create some sort of DeFi dashboard where people can hook into multiple protocols inside the same interface. It's essentially like an, an aggregator of sorts, okay? And then let's say they want to perform activities across multiple things, manage their wallet all in one place. Well, you could do that with a web 3.0 way and then charge a fee in order to make that easier in one spot. And that's potentially a web 3.0 way that you could create your own app or website that makes money. All right, so the last side hustle for web 3.0 developers that you can do on top of your regular job where you do have an edge as a developer, okay, is to actually get in, get your hands or to get deep into the DeFi space itself and actually do decentralized finance or DeFi. Now, a quick caveat on this, this is definitely one of the riskiest aspects of this entire thing. 
But here are some ideas of what you could potentially do. So, you know, getting into this space, uh, you know, yield farming is one of the uh, most popular ways for people to make money. You, of course, trade cryptocurrencies, we'll talk about that in a minute. But yield, yield farming is, is a huge deal where basically you can take cryptocurrency and park it in different applications and earn competitive yield for doing that sometimes, you know, in the hundreds or even thousands of percentage points, okay? So you can do yield farming as a developer and you actually have an edge here because you can do multiple things with yield farming that normal people can't. So you could, you know, move from yield farms really quickly and at scale by completely automating this process as a developer. So you can write your own scripts, talk to different DeFi protocols, and then find where the biggest yield is faster and then move in and out of yield farms because at the end of the day, people want to maintain their yield because it's going to dry up here eventually and you want to try to find hop around and get the best yield possible maybe on a day-to-day -day or a weekly or even monthly basis and so you can automate that process to develop or actually speed that up and it's a massive lever you can also use leverage in yield farming in a ways that most people can't okay so you can usually increase your exposure to yield farming pools uh with flash loans and that's going to you know kick up the amount of yield that you'll earn on a per pool basis so another way to make money on the side with web 3.0 in DeFi is to do uh, cryptocurrency arbitrage trading, okay? And so you can do this as a developer uh, by creating your own bots that look for discrepancies on cryptocurrency exchanges where you can buy low on one exchange and you can sell high on another, okay? So you can do it with your own money, of course, but you can also do it with flash loans where you don't even have to have any cryptocurrency in order to get started, okay? You can do it completely with borrowed money. So we occasionally do a flash loan and trading about masterclass at DAP University. So just keep an eye out. You'll find out about those whenever we go live next. And then last but not least, on top of, you know, crypto arbitrage trading is you can just do regular old crypto trading in DeFi, okay? Just basically buying crypto low, selling high. You know, you can you can trade with leverage. You can do shorting, all that type of stuff. Although I do not always recommend that. Actually, I really don't recommend it for most people to use leverage. Most people get wiped out and blown up with that. But you can, you know, just do simple trading strategies as a developer as a side hustle. Now, of course, this is uh, comes with significant downside risk. I'm not even telling you to do this. I personally do some trading myself, but it's definitely not the majority of my long-term crypto strategy outside of, uh, you know, coding. All right, so those are some of the top side hustle ideas that you can do as a blockchain developer on top of your regular job. So I hope you liked this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you're trying to become a blockchain developer, what's the best way to do that? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They like you to be courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or, hey, maybe you'll take a master shortcut entirely, learn how to implement one of these side hustle ideas, or, hey, even just land your first blockchain developer job, I can show you to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience change their careers, become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.